All right, here we are with uh, Nick Forrester from Hot Rise. It's a huge pleasure to see you. Big fan for the longest time, Nick. I uh, want to welcome you to Delaware Valley uh, Bluegrass Festival. And uh, there's a lot about Hot Rise that's amazing, but I want to talk to you, if it's okay, about E-Town. Cool. Well, thank you for asking. I'm so proud of uh, Hot Rise doing 40 years and uh, celebrating that. But, of course, E-Town wouldn't have happened if it weren't for Hot Rise. So I got a great head start by being in the band and by meeting a lot of people and doing a lot of radio shows and doing a lot of media. So uh, I learned a lot from being in Hot Rise that allowed me to really kind of get started with E-Town. Well, for people who aren't that aware of what E-Town is, tell us please what it is and also how you got started with it. Okay. E-Town is a one hour long uh, musical variety show that's syndicated on about 300 radio stations weekly. And um, so it's at different times and different days on each station, but it's on the same show airs across the country every week. Um, a lot of people sub subscribe to it as a podcast, and we have a website that, that has a lot more videos and other content on it. But it's basically was born out of my being in places like this, the Delaware Valley Bluegrass Festival, where people come together because of the music. And at a time where it seems like there's a lot of divisiveness, Music brings people together. So that's one of the things that made E-Town make sense to me. The other was that uh, I'm a dad and I have three kids. And at the time, my oldest daughter was 13. And I wanted to have some way to elevate the conversation around sustainability and climate change and the future, basically. So it's always been a combination of live music, great artists, and conversations with, uh, with uh, authors and policymakers and some scientists about what's going on in the world and how we might be able to do something about it. Well, when, that, that's terrific. One of the things I love so much is you join in the bands and you play with them and then you'll interview and have a discussion on the stage itself. So just as a guy who's doing interviews myself, are those uh, questions and stuff, are they just like usually off the top of your head or it kind of seems uh, not so... Uh, much advanced planning at least yeah. it seems that way well I like it that it seems casual the reality is um, I do a huge amount of research and homework and I script my conversations I write them all down on a, on a so I write a script for the show so what happens is I'll do a huge amount of research I'll script m an arc of a conversation and usually just the exercise of doing the homework and then writing the script means that I don't need to use the script. So then when I have a conversation with the artist, I already have done the research, I've already done my homework, I know what I, kind of key things I want them to say. And, um, and I think the fact, because uh, you're right, the fact that I get to play music or that I do play music in the house band, um, so I often play music with our guests, allows us to have a different kind of conversation. I'm not just like another radio guy that's saying, hey, tell me about how you made your new record. We have some common ground. Well, how do you make a new record? No, just joking. But, uh, well, one of the things that you, you talk about the um, how, uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of, uh, organic, the, the way the place is. It's made of solar power. Right. And uh, Hot Rise put out, not this album, but the album before, yeah. recorded, as there. recorded there. How did you get such a fine location? Well, I always knew that, um, you know, Eta, I've been living in Boulder, Colorado for, for more than, you know, for about 40 years. And so I've lived downtown. And uh, when I was looking for a place for, uh, to be a home for E-Town, this old church that was kind of laying fallow in the middle of downtown Boulder um, caught my eye. And I went to the city and I said, hey, I want to buy this and I want to turn it into an E-Town place. And they were like, well, you can't because it's only zoned for a church and you're not a church. And they told me that for years, year after year after year. Finally, I went online and I got ordained. Oh, is and I went back to the city and I said, look, I'm not trying to be disrespectful here, but we're a 501c3 nonprofit, just like a church. We do a lot of singing. We celebrate good works in the community and I'm an ordained minister. So you got to open up and give me the permit. Wow. And so they finally did. Is there a lot of, uh, it seems to me, there's a lot of community help you get as well? There's a lot of community. Of, um, it's become a place where the community gathers. So E-Town Hall is what we're talking about. 
It's 17,000 square foot building right in the middle of downtown Boulder and we do film screenings and it's got a recording studio and we have concerts and all kinds of, there's comedy nights and open mic nights and it's just an amazing resource for our hometown and um, I was really, uh, I worked really hard to make it happen. Right. And, and I had, years. how long and, has it been? Well, I've been working on it, for, I was working on it for about 10 years or so. And uh, I had to raise a lot of money to try to buy it and renovate it and put all the equipment in it. But it's it's there and it's going to outlive me and, you know, it's going to be a benefit for my community for a long, long time. And uh, it also allows us to make stuff. So E-Town is making more and more videos. We're making more podcasts, more radio shows. We're doing all kinds of stuff. So it's an awesome building. Well, let's talk uh, Hot Rise. Hot Rise, uh, let's talk about the making of... The last album, then we'll talk about this album as well. Okay. Yeah, you know, we, we really wanted to make a new studio record because we've been, uh, you know, we've been playing our core repertoire for a long time. And so I, I think I was one of the people who was just saying, guys, let's, we're still around, we're still alive, we're still creative, we're all, in fact, probably better musicians than we were when we started. Let's make a record. Let's just put some songs together and make a record. And I got a recording studio, so we can use that. So, so they finally went okay, and they came, and and we cut the we cut the record there, and that was the, the one called When I'm Free. And then um, we had a nice run of of touring behind that, and then uh, the next thing you knew, it was our 40th anniversary. So we wanted to do something to celebrate 40 years of High Rise. And what felt like we wanted to do mostly was just have a party. So we booked some nights at the Boulder Theater, which is where we sort of, that was our kind of home theater, and um, asked some friends to come along. So Sam Bush and Jerry Douglas and Stuart Duncan came out for a few days last January. We made a live record that just came out. And um, that's how we chose to celebrate our 40th anniversary. Right. And now you're playing uh, here at Delaware Valley, then I believe you're going to Rhythm and Roots and Thomas Point, am I correct? That's right, yeah. We've got a busy weekend. And um, then we're going to be hosting the IBMA Awards show this year down in Raleigh. And then uh, in November, we're going to go out on the road again for another, I think, 10 or 12 shows. And then um, in January of 2019, we're going to do a revisit of our Boulder Theater weekend and uh, have that be the sort of bookend. You know, it started there and it's going to kind of end, that little chunk is going to end there too. So the question is, uh, you guys are doing so much, now how does that relate to E-Town? Because clearly you're not going to be around for that. You know, it's a bit of a dance to try to do both things. For example, we closed Rocky Grass uh, at the end of July on Sunday night. We played the last set on Sunday night, and it was a big time, and it was great. And then uh, I went to the airport after the show and flew to um, Charlotte, North Carolina, because the next day we were taping an E-Town show in Boone, North Carolina. So I had to just finish the high-rise show, go do an E-Town thing, and then fly home. And so I've been doing that all along. I've been trying to sandwich the tapings of E-Town shows in between my commitments for Hot Rise. In the very first season in 1991, we taped our shows on Thursday nights because I was in a band with Tim. Tim O'Brien and Jerry Douglas and Mark Schatz and I were in a band. So in those, it's called the O-Boys. And so um, I would record on Thursdays an E-Town show. And then Tim and I, we'd leave and go out on Friday, Saturday, Sunday work. I would edit the show on the E-Town e show on the airplane, go to the studio on Monday and cut it, have Tuesday, Wednesday to prep, tape a show Thursday, go out with Tim on Friday. And it was busy and it was, you know, not the, it was, I was younger, but it was okay. And, um, but that first season of E-Town, you know, we had, uh, Norman and Nancy Blake and Pete Rowan and Edgar Meyer and Jerry Douglas and uh, Lyle Lovett and Nancy Griffith and James Taylor and the Fairfield Four and you know so many great artists came because we'd gotten to know each other from my being in Hot Rise and touring and so that's how E-Town got started. Oh that's great. Uh, you do have help there at E-Town with other people helping you quite a bit. Oh yeah we've got a great staff of about 10 people who work full-time and a bunch of volunteers and engineers, contractors, you know, people who come in, Dave's show, front of house, monitor engineers, security, bartenders, you know, all kinds of people. So, you know, I'm proud. We're 
um, this little idea to turn out to be something that could give a lot of people their livelihood and support them. And we've got, you know, people on staff who've been there for more than 20 years. So, yeah. All right, so tell everyone, please, tell us just uh, how they can find E-Town if they're not familiar. Yeah, if you want to learn more about E-Town, the easiest way to do it is etown.org. You can download the smartphone app from the App Store. If you just plug in E-Town, you'll get an app where you can listen to all the shows. And, um, you know, where our podcasts are, you can find them wherever you find your podcasts if you plug in E-Town. So we're, we're easy to find. So it's just etown.org and tune in if you can. And Hot Rise. Hotrise.com, H-O-T-R-I-Z-E.com. All right, well, thank you very much. Thank you.